Right, here we go. Last look at uh, historic Monza for a while. A lot of people ask for the uh, C-Class. Unfortunately, they just didn't fit in my head. It was like driving in a time warp. A little bit too early with all the uh, billboards and stuff. So I give you Ferrari 250 GT. Um, I will leave a link in the description. This is one of uh, PC MT's cars. Yeah, there'll be a link in the description. Um, but they really sit well on the vintage stuff, especially on here. Now for all of those wondering where to get all of this or when it's released at the moment this is kind of in a box um, it's all depends on riser what riser does if riser is going to put out um, a, a vintage version of Le Mans and they quite likely will this will not see the light of day um, but fear not if they don't then maybe it'll come out um, but either way, you're going to end up with um, a vintage version, aren't you? So, hey, <laughs> glass half full and all of that. Presently, we're doing 180. I kid you not, this is 180 down the Mulsanne straight in these things, in the damp. And they are crazy quick. We're on all weather tyres, 60s brakes. Um, yeah. It's an interesting combination. That little king there looks really small, but 180 mile an hour in these, it's threading a camel for a needle or something like that. Some biblical reference. Just <laughs> keep all dramatic. We'll go round here. Someone's got jammed on the wall. We're away. I can see the, uh, the track is drying up. And these cars are absolutely beautiful. Sound great, drive brake. If you haven't got them, why not? Whoa. I will go through on the second lap some of the corners of what we're doing and what I'm thinking um, we've got three laps and we've got a mandatory pit stop just so you can see the pits working and all that okay around the grassy knoll one more time I will mm, get this track back out of its box when we get um, Stuff that fits it, if you like, stuff of the era that would have raced here. I'm sure there will be mods coming that will fit right at home in here. Into the top. Threading the needle again over the rise. Yo! Over the bridge and hit the brakes, drop into fourth. Okay, now we've got the one and only chicane and this is going to be hilarious because it tracks slightly damp somebody's trying to go too abreast Whoa, when i'm getting all sideways i'm the one cocking it up Whoa, got it just miss my gear okay car's going into the uh, into the pits so i'll go through the uh, what we've got You'll recognise some of it. So this is full whack up here. I'm just backing off to get around the back of this guy. Under the Dunlop Bridge. Down the dip. Before we get to the bottom, we're going to be hitting the brakes. And we're going to be going down into second with a bit of a blip. First bit has got a nice camber. Hook it in. This has got an adverse camber. Easy on the power over the rise. 
up to third under the second Dunlop bridge, braking down to second. This again, adverse camber, drops away from you. And now we're on the Mulsan straight, which is all one straight. You get right to the bottom, it's got a nasty little right hand kink, but it's easy to spot as you get up there into top gear. So with a draft, these things will do 180 mile an hour. Without a draft, they do about 177 with a tailwind. So we're just going to be playing the drafting game, jumping from one car to the other, if we can get around them. Still a bit wet over here on the right. Okay, we're clear. On to the next draft. With all these trees at the side of the track, you've got quite a narrow field of view, whereas I'm, that's the edge of my view. It's crazy. Crazy wide, crazy quick. While I'm looking at the squirrels in the trees, the guy in front's decided I'm going to break the toe. Okay, I'm coming over here. Got this kind of blind rise here into here. Leave it flat. The guy on the outside's hooked that. Something wrong. As you can see, the car models are amazing. Break before the SO sign. Sorry, shell blipping all the way this thing tends to get squirrely down at the low end on the brakes so try and keep it uh, straight now I did miraculously uh, not save the recording from before I'm to record it all over again um, folded it, all my recordings went in, decided to delete itself mysteriously. Block change the third, getting squirrely. Keeping it tight there. Okay, down to second. Tapping the number 30 car in front. Do not go off the track here because it's uh, grassy knolls. Down to first here and sandbanks. Which will just run straight up like that. a wheel spin so again past the track you will recognize that the same layout same track essentially a bit narrower and then other stuff we're going over bridges and like <laughs> up here lock it in oh it gets really light the car does get light at the highest speeds the aero isn't exactly as you can see, isn't exactly uh, modern day. The faster you go, the lighter the car gets. It's crazy. Oh, I need to request a pit stop. Ooh. Breaking where the uh, tarmac changes colour. Down to first, because the, these guys are tangling up. Looks like we're all going in. Oh, yes. We've got it on the old driving through as we go in. Might as well blat in. Not quite sure how the garages would work. They probably would. Your nose will probably stick out. Okay, so this should just be tyres only. It is. It takes a while. Hilarious part. These guys are not in vintage gear. And he's got that. And if you look at the tyre, you need a hammer to knock that off on that centre cap. Not that. But I'm, you know, I'm just, you know, Jim, it's your fault. Yeah, bought the wrong uh, hammer drill. Literally needed a hammer. You buy him a drill. Again, graphics just in VR, solid, really good. And uh, as we uh, have, have now renamed it, the danger on him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We needed to add more layers to the danger on him. How do we do that? We'll find out shortly. I'm sure you all know. So as we start on our final lap, we'll drive through that. Okay. The field's coming through. We need to get on it. And keep it straight. No safe entry at the pit at all. Just get as much speed as you can and stay over to the right. 
managed to get into top. We'll break a bit later this time. Whoa. Really need to big blips on the downshift. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything's cold. Who knew they didn't have tire warmers in the 1960s? Who knew such things? Anyway, we will uh, get back on here. Get up to uh, see the speed of sound. Stay over there. Just check it. 171 and rising. I'm not sure whether. Oh no, I turned it off. No, I turned the rain off. That's why we had a damp track in the beginning. Sorry guys. One defty five moment less. This is the thing about um, this track is these trees so close in. It's like you're going through a tunnel. Again, you won't have the same sense of speed as what you get in VR. There we go. For the last time. Uh, got a bit more speed on me again. I must be scrubbing some off. There we go. Big brakes. Ah, that's that kinking I was telling you about. And yeah, I was getting it. Isn't this pretty? Sorry, but AMS2 is just, in VR, it's just so immersive, it's unbelievable. Especially when you can do stuff like this. If you don't blip, even go down to fourth gear, it will woo, kick the back end around, lock the rears up tyres are almost up to temperature. As the uh, flames out the exhaust light the tarmac. Up, come wide, blind apex, yeah, nice, and get ready for the brakes and the shift down to fourth, blip it, which you're in trouble, then just roll, don't touch your brakes, just get the nose in and round we go. You see the stadium in front of us, looking like the Wicker Man, or a huge Dalek, or something. here yes we can for the line thank you very much we'll say that right see do love you people when I made another video all was not lost at least I can use the same thumbnail haha <laughs> adios